Hi, I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to make inexpensive seasonal wall art. Do you recognize these? These are embroidery hoops, and I find them all the time at garage sales and thrift stores. I really like the thick band on these for wall art, so look for those anytime you're out shopping. So you can tell by looking at this pink rim here that I have used these embroidery hoops over and over again. I change out my fabric with the seasons, so I also change the spray paint. So what's nice about the fabric art is that you only have to spray paint the outer rim for this project. So I spray painted this particular rim in a Rust-Oleum black. Okay. I found some fabric that I liked for Halloween. We took some candy corn. You just want to lay the fabric directly over the smaller of the two hoops. Okay, this will be the hoop that's solid, not the one that has the bracket on it. Then you're going to take the second hoop, the larger of the two, slide it over the fabric and the smaller ring push it down, you want it to fit nice and tight. Once you've done that, you already see where I'm going with this. You've got some fabric art. So now you're just gonna take a pair of scissors and once you get it tight the way you want it, you're gonna just start snipping the area right around. And so we're gonna just take it all the way around All right, our first one is finished. Okay, so I picked two more coordinating fabrics to go with that, because I like to decorate in threes. So I picked some cobweb fabric, and I spray painted the wide-rimmed embroidery hoop in orange. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this fabric directly over the smaller rim. Remember, it's gonna be the rim that's solid, okay? Put that over the top. Put my bigger ring right over the fabric and the smaller one. Snap it on there. Once again, we've got another one. So we would cut this fabric off as well. Okay, third one, you can see it used to be silver, but now I've spray painted it in a bright, fun yellow. We're gonna use it with this coordinating fabric. So I'm gonna slide it over the I'm gonna lay it right over the smaller hoop. I'm gonna put the yellow larger hoop on top and I'm gonna snap it right on. So I wanna show you what this is gonna look like when it's all together. Now I would snip this fabric as well. So we're gonna have our large, then we'll have our medium. I'm just gonna tuck this just for you to be able to see. And then we're gonna take our cobweb fabric. Look how adorable those are. But that's not even it. Okay, so here we have these for Halloween. But what about for fall? Let's say before that, we wanna use some fall fabric. This is so awesome. You can just pop them out, save this for next year, put in then a fall fabric that coordinates with it as well. I'm not even gonna change out the frame color for this. I'm gonna slide in this fall pumpkin fabric. I'm gonna go right over it with my large hoop. We have gone from Halloween to fall in just a matter of seconds. Can do that again with my orange. I'm gonna pop out the cobweb fabric. Then I'm going to slide in, this is sunflowers, which I love. Put that in there, snap the orange. Now, if you wanted to do frames that were closer in color, that's fine. I like the pop of color, so I like the contrast. Okay, so now we have that one. I'll pop out the yellow here, get the plaid fabric out. I'm going to put this beautiful orange fall color in snap 
a contrasting color frame. Now we have gone from fall or from Halloween. I kind of did that backwards, but you know where we're going here. So I went from fall. Now we could switch back to Halloween. You just wait till I show you what we're going to do for Christmas. For a supply list and step-by-step -step instructions, please go to my website, divaofdiy.com, where you will find so many crafts and so many ideas for fall and seasonal projects. Check out what I've got for you coming up.